We have seen that the memory should be fast enough to cope up with the execution speed of the processor which can execute about a million instructions per second. To have a very fast memory, we can implement it using static RAM chips, but it is very expensive and hence we cannot have a large memory using it. The solution is to use dynamic RAM chips which are comparatively less expensive than static RAM chips but it is slower than static RAM chips too. Also, due to our high demand for large memory size to keep large amount of data and instruction, it is not practical to build a very large memory using the dynamic RAM chips at a reasonable cost. The solution is to use the magnetic disk or tape. Since they are available at very reasonable price, we can have a large size of it to keep all the required programs and data. So the ideal memory should be fast, large and cost effective. But with any single type of implementation, we cannot satisfy all the three requirements. So we use all these in an effective way to form a hierarchy such that there is a proper balance between the size, speed and the cost. Using magnetic disk we build our secondary storage level of memory hierarchy which keeps all the required programs and data in a permanent way. Since it is very less expensive, we can have a very large volume of it. But it is very slow, hence the processor never tries to directly access it. Instead, it is connected to other levels of the memory hierarchy, most probably the main memory. Which we build using the dynamic RAM chips. And the main memory keeps only the programs and data which are currently to be executed. So we can have a comparatively smaller size of main memory. Since the cost is comparatively higher than the secondary storage level. But here the cost is very not very high and hence we can have somewhat large size. And the speed is comparable hence the processor can directly access to it. Then by using static RAM chips, we build the next level of memory hierarchy, the cache level. The cache keeps only the most frequently or recently accessed instructions and data. So we need only a very small size of the cache memory since here the cost is very high. But it is of very high speed hence the processor directly access it. And we can have various levels of cache too to improve the performance again. Also we can consider the registers at the topmost level of the hierarchy. Here the size is very small, cost is very high and it's of very high speed. So as we go up the hierarchy, the speed increases the cost increases and the size reduces. So to cope up with the speed of the processor, use this hierarchy of memory components in a proper way without exceeding the budget and by satisfying the size requirement and the speed requirements too.